I've been advised that the people who just drifted in the room were alternates who've been moved up, and we've now either moved up or have essentially the last alternate in place in the room. Yes, sir. Are we talking about campaigns? Yes, we are. Okay, please. Is that okay? I just wanted to mention that there is uh, one more Republican candidate here who hasn't had a chance to speak. Okay. And that is for uh, U.S. House. For what? And that's Mr. John Cox for U.S. House. Thank you, everybody. My name is John Cox, and I am running for U.S. House of House Representatives. Okay. Uh, I'm coming from obscurity. A lot of you know that. Well, who's this guy? Well, I came to Alaska as a young teenager, graduated from Barbara Baggage. Now, are there any reporters here? Okay, so I'll just say 30 years. I served 30 years in the Navy. Well, the reason I asked that question is because it was actually 29 years, 11 months, and 27 days. to survive without federal government's uh, interference with our Constitution. <laughs> we have the capability here to expand our, our natural resources, and we need, we need a strong voice there to do it, and I hope to do that for you. Okay, one of the last jobs that I did in the Navy, I was a uh, serious instructor. I taught survival and invasion resistance in the state. Anybody subject to high risk of capture, I thought that kind of deal as a prisoner. Okay. Uh, this, I know I have an uphill battle, and I think I can do it. I don't think, I know I can do it. I just need your help, okay? What we need, I don't need necessarily need you to reach into your wallets and pull up money for the simple reason that we all work too hard for our cash. And the federal government keeps taking more and more away from us. And I want to make sure that you keep it. So the best thing you can do for me is tell the neighbors. Pay it forward. Tell them about what I stand for. Pro-life, pro I'm a Catholic, uh, you know, it's all about Alaska, and we're going to help go there. Go to Washington and help represent you. Thank you. Our uh, next is District 30. And what is the legal limit that people can contribute to you? $2,500. $2,500. You have an opportunity to do something really significant. Federal limits are five times state limits. State limits are $2,500. Federal limits are $2,500. I learned something from there. You may want to hike around the room and do that. Anybody else on campaigns? I just wanted to say something. Um, Laura Reinhold is my sister. She's running for state house and a contested race. I would like to not everybody can talk on behalf of somebody close to them. You know, we probably don't have time. I appreciate that. Okay. You're, you're probably, you may be the closest, but if I start this, we, we can go on forever and that can be kind of counterproductive. We uh, had a couple of other folks who were delegates who were here during the week when we were in the initial two sessions. They're not with us today. We appreciate their participation. We had others who uh, are involved in events today who couldn't be here. There's a... What? I need someone fishing. Some, some, some went fishing. I know there's a number of people at the Palmer Colony Days and other, those kinds of events for Republicans need to be seen by voters. And then there's a number of other things happening. Uh, John, have you made the walk around the river to see if you scare up a buck? 
It's kind of, you know, if you walk past a bird and get it up in the air, you might get one. If you don't ask for money, as a good, have, have you made the rounds and asked for money, sir? Oh, I have. Please do so. Chairman, I, I, I would call What? I'm waiting for credentials. We can't do anything until we get credentials. Anybody would like to give somebody who's not supported by the grand jury? Anybody would like to donate somebody who's not supported by the current Republican Party, who's been a Republican elected official, uh, served on the Washington City Council? Uh, the Madison Borough Assembly and Planning Commission and was asked to be the director of the National Association of Republican County Officials for Alaska, Washington, Montana, Idaho, and Oregon. Um, your donation would be appreciated. My name is Mark Ewing. I have a website, ewingforhouse.com. You can make a PayPal donation on that. I'd appreciate it because right now, um, money's tight. The people I represent work for a living. They're not rich. They're people like you. So, grassroots, and all starts here. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity.
hold that against me. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you, members, thank you. Uh, pursuant to uh, Article 2, Section 6 of our bylaws, uh, that section uh, stipulates that no delegate shall be allowed to vote on any issue until the Credentials Committee has met and certified the role of the convention and has determined that a quorum is present. The uh, head of the Credentialing Committee is here to give us that number. Uh, for purposes of today, a, a quorum is required, um, is met at 275 delegates. And with that, I will I'll bring up the uh, head of the Credentialing Committee to give us the number for today. Can you carry on? Can you carry on? The total today was 192. Therefore, we do not have a quorum. We, we cannot convene this meeting. Thank you for coming to, to Anchorage today. For, uh, I will give you the results at this time.
Okay. Civil and uh, criminal, if necessary. And I just want you to know that. Thank you for listening. For anybody who would like to continue meeting, I presume we're not welcome in this building anymore. We'll go to the park. We pay for it all day. Why can't we be here? Are we welcome to keep using the building? We pay for the building. We are the Republicans. The other people are not Republicans. Okay, we did well, not. I move that we make Russ Millett an acting chair for the rest of the Second. And, and I also move that, um, I wasn't finished with my motion, I move that we make Russ Millett the acting chair for this meeting, that we go through actually what the agenda was, and actually submit our report from that to the SEC, so at least we will finish the party business we came to here. Sorry. It won't um, be binding, but it will be a recommendation to the State Central Committee. Do I have a second? Second. second. Okay. Okay, anybody want to call the question? Call the question. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye! All those opposed, please say nay. Nay! <laughs> I'm not good at counting by ear, but I'd say the ayes have. If Mr. Millett would be willing to serve in that role.
like we're gonna have the mic up and going. I am gonna attempt to remount this on my trick mount, so. Talk in the parking lot about where to go. You want to see my Richard Nixon greeting? 